three, two, one, go! Ah! Looks like a wet dog boy. <laughs> Welcome to STEAM Workshop, where we explore science and art through awesome projects. I'm Andy, one of the product designers here at KiwiCo. Can you guys tell me your names and how old you are? My name is Kellen and I'm eight years old. My name is Finley and I'm 11. At KiwiCo, we love designing robots, like the walking robot and coin eating robot from Tinkercray. And that's why I'm super excited because today we're going to be building brush bots. Can either of you tell me what a robot is? A robot is like a mechanical um, person, except like it's not a person. That's a pretty good definition. Do you have anything to add to that, Finley? Um, I think a robot's like a, a machine that does things for you. So there are a lot of different kinds of robots out there, but in general, a robot is a machine that accomplishes a task all by itself. Are you ready to build your brush bots? Yep. yep. For this project, we need a battery pack, two AA batteries, and a three volt hobby motor. Can you tell me how a motor works? I think like a motor is something that like vibrates or has like, it holds energy to help something move. Yeah, no, there are a lot of really good points in there. So basically a motor takes electricity and turns it into motion. And so that's exactly what our motor is gonna do. And we're gonna use our motor to make our brush bots move. Cool? Before we start building, let's look at the rest of our materials. We need electrical tape, scissors, a cork, googly eyes, double stick foam, and a scrub brush. The cleaner thingy! The cleaner thingy! That's gonna be a robot! So, if you can see there are little grooves on the back of your battery pack, you can use your thumb and slide that up. Yeah, so push those and slide open your battery pack. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And do you guys know how to put batteries in a battery pack? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. um, so each side has a plus and a minus. And so it's the same on the little battery pack. Oh. Um, but you match them up depending on the little okay. thing. So if this has side has a minus, like a subtract. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So we want to take the flat side and put the flat side up against the spring. So do you guys know why it's super important to put the batteries in the right way? Because if you um, put it on the wrong way, then it doesn't work. Yeah, that's right. Electricity flows in one direction. So it's really important that we put our batteries in the right way. If you put one of your batteries in the wrong way, the electricity won't flow and your motor won't turn on. Okay, so let's let's keep going. Let's put our battery pack lid back on, if we've got that in. Yeah? Now we have to attach these. That is exactly the next step. So we're gonna take our red wire from our motor and connect it to our red wire from our battery pack, okay? And then we're gonna go do the same thing, black to black, battery pack to motor. Cool? Do you guys know what we just created? Um, no. <laughs> so this is called a circuit. So you guys are on your way to being roboticists. So basically, now you can see there's a loop going from your battery pack all the way up to your motor and then back down to your battery pack. And that's exactly what you need for a circuit. Electricity needs to go from one end of the battery all the way through your components and then back to the other end of the battery. Okay, so one thing we want to do before we turn it on is we're gonna take a little bit of electrical tape and we're gonna tape up the, the connections we just attached. Cool? Wait, if you, um, do we do it on both of the connections? Yes, on both the connections. Perfect. Attach them to both. Like, I just did one tape. Oh, that works too, actually. Good job, you're innovating, Kellen. Love it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is test our circuit. So. Are you gonna turn this on? Exactly. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Uh, I feel it. It feels weird. You feel it? Does it make a sound too? Yeah. Yes, perfect. So your circuits are working. You made it correctly. So let's grab our cork. This thing. Now we're gonna press the motor shaft into the cork. Hard. Yeah, it's a little hard, just muscles. 
did it. Oh, cool. Hey, so we did it in slightly different ways, but this is gonna be a cool experiment. Okay, let's turn our motors on. Oh, <laughs> this feels so weird and so fun to touch. Oh, oh my gosh, that feels really weird. So you guys attached your cork on this way, right? So let's let's move it so that it's attached like mine. You see how I, how I put it in the side? Oh, I know what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be like Before you were like, whoa, this feels funny. It's like shaking, right? You think it's gonna shake more or less? Less. Less? less? All right, let's, let's try it. Let's turn it on. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's much more shaky. Well, it's like shaky wider, not shaky quicker. Yeah, so you guys are exactly right. So it goes more slowly, but it shakes more. And so this circuit is going to be the key to how your brush bot moves. Are you ready to attach it to your brush bot? Okay. Yes. Yes? Okay. So what we're gonna wanna do is take some of our sticky foam and, and you wanna put some on the bottom of the battery pack. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and so we're gonna do the same thing with our motor, okay? So we're gonna, and, and your motor's a little smaller, so you're gonna want to cut a little piece of sticky foam. And then where do I attach it? Okay, so this part is kind of important. So when we attach it, we want it to still be able to spin, right? So you have to make, make sure the shaft is sticking out beyond the edge of the brush. So you wanna stick it to the very front, very front like that. Can you guys see that? Oh. So you see how my cork can still spin? And you might even want to try it like this and just spin it with your finger before you turn it on. Okay, can we turn it on? So what do you think is going to happen? I think it's going to be like <laughs> All right. Oh, that was a nice shimmy. Okay. Ready to test? Three, yeah. two, one, go. Oh. It's like turning. Looks like a wet dog going <laughs> trying to get the water. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> you all right, dude? Hey, your brush rod is doing its job. It's cleaning. It's all the dust is coming up. You turn it off. Now that um, we did it, we can like add decorations like googly eyes. You guys are psychic. That is exactly what we're gonna do next. You guys wanna start adding some decorations? Oh, I'm gonna add hair. Ooh, nice. Like a toupee or something funny. I'm gonna add some blue eyes. Oh, eyes too, yeah. Uh, Mine kind of look like it's sneaky. And then I'm gonna like make like a S and then I'm gonna like a cut out an S and then oh. it's gonna be snake, super snake. Super snakes. Are you gonna give it a snake tongue? <gasps> oh, that's a good Super snake is on the way to save the world again. <laughs> he is a snake that's super and he mostly cleans. Mostly cleans. What else does he do? Cleans himself after cleaning. The brush bots have taken over. All right, are we close? Should I give countdown? 10. No. Nine. Whoa. Eight. Yeah. Seven. Yeah, no, his Six. eyes are falling off. Five. Four. Three. I don't think this is sticky enough. Oh, two. No. One. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Oh. I had an eyeball on my hand. Can I see your guys' bots? In a sec. Um, nice. That's awesome. Super. Let's see yours, Kellen. Super snake. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the cork off again. And then I want you guys to attach the cork how you attached it the first time again. So let's turn it on and have a go. Whoa. Oh, it's more like a... Oh my God, it's spinning around still. <laughs> let's turn ours off. And then one at a time, what'd you guys find? Finley, you first. Um, it was more of like a precise circle than the one where it was sideways. It... Cool. 
Yeah, so, I mean, this time, like you guys learned the first time, right? It's vibrating a lot faster, but a lot smaller. So, like Finley was saying, it can go a little bit smoothly. It doesn't jump quite as much. So the really cool thing about this project is you can actually attach your motor and battery pack to a bunch of things you can find at home. So, this is a lemon. <laughs> this a is lemon? A Ready? <laughs> Ready? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's cool. Let's see what else. All right, so you see sprinkles container. Ready? Sprinkles. Ah! <laughs> it's high it? Guys, I had so much fun building robots with you. I will see you next time. All right, bye. bye. We want to see your brush bots. Ask a grown up to share a video or photo of your bots on Instagram and make sure to tag at kiwico underscore inc. And for more projects like this, go to kiwico.com.